Sure. Come on, bro. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Breakfast to serve episode 19. 19. Get it the fuck, right? Ladies and gentlemen, 19. Let's cheers to that. I almost said 32, but that was baseline jam. Wow. Different well, I'll mix them up, brother. I was like 19. Definitely don't mix them yeah, up. Yeah, that's 32 weeks of basketball. Um, it's a little less because some some weeks we did two, depending. We hit a we hit a hundred followers on our Instagram page, so it's just wanna Yippee. give a round of applause to all the followers out there checking in. We're at 114 right now to be. Really? Yeah. Wow. We got a nice little uh, roll Train. from uh, Drama's vlog. Uh, got a little breakfast to serve. Pod. Never heard of them. <laughs> Instagram tagged up People in there. So. One on my Instagram about that today. For real. What they say? How's the feedback? Well, some of them are like just bullshitting. My friend was like sick ass fool. Joe Joe was like sick ass fool. It's like some Palmdale shit. What the hell does that? Yeah, mean? what does that even mean, bro? It's like some Palmdale. Like all the all the Mexicans used to say that shit. They'd be like, what's that fool? And we what? Just, we just be like, what's that fool? It's just like some. Pal- it's I don't know. It's some okay, guys sick. Like, but we used to say it. And he'd be like, what's that fool? Sick ass fool, man. It's dope. Did I say what's up fool or sick ass fool? You said both. I, I have no know. idea what you're talking. What yeah. day is it? It's all good. I mean, we're shooting this at 11 p.m. on a Tuesday, so it doesn't. <laughs> be tired. I know we're throwing it off. Uh, <laughs> off I got course. Wine. The good old. Uh, good old red pruned, pruny juice. You like that? What's this apple juice? Yeah, this is. Uh, That's good old horse well, piss actually, right there. So, this uh, really nice cold Budweiser. Shout bird. Still, hold on. It's still in the fridge from when Bird was in town. And today, the bird, oh, yeah. Holbert, mm-hmm. sent me a text message. First time ever. First ever. You never got a text from your dad? Never. He got a new phone. I think, I think one time, four years ago, I texted him, and he responded with, okay, and I was blown away. But ever since, it never has. He was against texting. Mm-hmm. He said, I'll go to my grave, and I will never text. And today's the day. He got Is a new iPhone. Grave? Nope. So he died. He did not <laughs> die, but he got an iPhone. Um, he got an iPhone, so now he's on the in what the texting world. I ten. Haven't got that far yet. Yeah, haven't got, got that the far. He probably got what you guys got. Oh word, because we don't have bullshit. Phone. Oh word, because you guys have some little, little tiny. Hey, if one more person says something about my fucking phone, you have well, to. Well, that shit is whack. Look at you guys. You guys meet me in the street. Say one more thing about my phone. We're gonna meet in the street. Meet me in the street. About my iPhone 5s. They're gonna buy me another phone. Yeah, get that shit figured out, bro. No, I'm dead ass. I'm figured out, bro. Get rid of it. No. Look at this little thing. If you're watching visually, it's just like yo, dude. Yo. This thing's like you. You need. I don't know, bro. Wow. You need a fucking goddamn. I made three a lot extra of, pockets to I made fit a lot that of in my. Nah, this thing's phone. perfect. You're, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not saying you don't. No, hit me up. No, hit me up. Yeah, 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 yeah. hit me up. Yo, dude, you got a Spotify playlist? I do, dude. You think you can get me in there? <laughs> Money talks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I had two people hit me up already. About yeah. what? Yo, bro, are you taking submissions? No, <laughs> that's fire. You're not, bro. I thought it was pretty dope. I was like, damn. You want to get in the Bearded Man's playlist? Hit me up. They want to get because you are the Bearded Man. So I, I am says. the curator of the Bearded Man playlist. Bearded Man with the ox. Curator. Loose term. Curator slash creator. <laughs> Who created it? Then? I think yo, I'm thinking about updating. No, no, no. no. He's he made it. But I made it. Like, yo, curator. Wait, I didn't I even bother looking at the songs in it. What songs it's great. in it? It's all the all fucking Drake. serious shit. Uh, no, no. Take it easy. All right. This is like all Drake. 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 Two songs of me. Mm-hmm. You'll have to check it out later. Yeah. It's oh. solid. Bearded man with the ox. We're going to do some behind the scenes. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? What? I'm about to start making some money off of this. Huh. No, I don't I'm know I'm going to start that. charging him. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill any, out. any clients that want to hop in meant. on the playlist? I mean, I'm going to like help you make it dope. Because yeah. you know what you're doing? You don't know what the fuck you're doing. Do you know what you're doing? A music? Word. Yeah, I know about music. I should trust you with the Green Bay hack. Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback of all time. Is he? No, that's what people say to me when I wear this. Yeah. I thought Brett Favre was. Brett Favre, dude. Yo, you like Packers? He was sending he nah. was sending pics on his uh, iPhone. <laughs> he sure was. <laughs> I forgot about he that. He sure fucking was. That's a good segue. That's a good funny. job, Bob. I forgot I'm about that. I'm glad you know though. something happened in who the news. Who was he selling? Who was he sending? I have to? no idea. That's the funniest shit. The like, funniest shit of all time. I forget who it was. Oh, I, Anthony Weiner. That's who I was thinking of today. You know who that is? Yeah. I was trying to think of his name. He was like name. governor or... Some bullshit some, he was sending. He was... Someone he, in the government was just sending just straight <laughs> cock just shots, dude. Woo! I thought he was like into like pornography or, or something. He did some weird shit. Oh, uh-huh. he was doing all types of shit. Yeah. His name is Wiener, though. He was... Wiener. He, he was Anthony sexting Wiener. like someone Everybody. that works for him or something. Yeah. That shit like is dumbass. 
Yo, Shout out to you gotta be dumbass to get caught sexting. Bro, Boy. also, you're fucking 56. <laughs> He's probably using like a fucking tripod to take the picture. He's like, okay, one, two. He's got 10 seconds. Like, strike a pose. Strike a pose. That's a bit. Uh, it's a little. Someone's, someone's bit. Sorry. It's a little. Uh, scooch my tooch. You know what I mean? Yeah, scooch a tooch. Scooch a tooch. Tooch. Toocher. Shout out to my farmer's tan. Uh, shout out to Steve's farmer tan. I don't want to give a, a, per, uh, a shout out to Bernardo for coming through the content crib and taking care of this crib. Who's Bernardo? The landscaper. Oh, that's his name. You weren't here. Oh yeah, you weren't here. Did you just make that name up? No, it's Bernardo. He he killed it. Literally, all he hundred bucks. He said hundred bucks. I got this whole place cleaned up. Yeah, this shit. I didn't even recognize. It looked like he had a whole crew with him. Our backyard looks like a true prison now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really does. Our front yard looks. Did you like that text I sent? I said, "Yo, we gotta wait till see what time you get out the pen, like the penitentiary." Yeah, we get it. (laughs) We know what pen is short for. I was laughing when I sent that. Oh, you were the only one. (laughs) (laughs) Huh. Absolute legend, what'd you say? Um, I didn't know I didn't know that was your situation today. I no, wouldn't I'm have done fuck. it. Well, what do you what, what you? his situation? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know he that. Clocked out at three thirty. Gotta do what you gotta do. What'd you do this afternoon? Was that anything fun? <laughs> <laughs> You're an <laughs> asshole, dude. Dude, it's like not funny. <laughs> what? I, I don't know the details he's, like what was happening. Just, what do you mean? You were here all fucking day. I was working on content. Uh, what? Yeah, work. He was on one half this you know, his place, I was in mine. What were you doing today? Making content. Like what? Me too. Made the playlist. Made a YouTube video. What was the YouTube video? Don't want to say. You're going to see it. It's coming out on Friday. Um, well, I don't want to say either, Bob. Yeah. How about that? Okay. He's pleading the fifth. I was definitely making content, though. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. You're going to turn into <laughs> ratatata. Selling your ratata. <laughs> Foo-foo lame shit. You're going to end up selling it? I like this 11 p.m. Breakfast is served with, with the beer. Hello. Oh, yeah. We got wine. Yeah, keep doing <clears throat> Dylan's got Yo, fresh H two O. Are we eating these donuts or what's, what's it's the deal? You, Dude, throw them back. It's all you guys. <laughs> it's Never mind. I'm good. I don't want any donuts. <laughs> Lost my appetite. I got, I got, I got the double chocolate. There's only one left. And yo, get this. This they were closing up at. <laughs> <laughs> they were closing up. They closed up at nine. I got there nine really? fifteen, and they still were down to sell it to me. Really? Who was it? It was the, it was the guy, the brother, my boy. Yeah. What's his name? No idea. No idea. No idea what any of the names are. Yeah, it's a nine fifteen. They're my boys though. Uh, so Bob, what the fuck are we doing today? What are we talking about? I got a couple things. I got a couple things. Uh, let's start with one. All right. Did you watch Kanye West's interview? Uh huh. Would you think it with you? Yes, with Charlamagne. Yeah. What did I think? Oh, you watched? Yeah, you watched the entire thing right next to me. I was so focused sitting on it, I didn't even know. Yeah, you're on your phone, but it's all good. No, I wasn't. Actually, I did not look at my phone that entire two hours. That's a bullshit lie. You want to make a bet? The phone was in. Bro, I saw you on your Bro, phone. Bro, my phone was in Guys, the Guys, what do you think of the interview? You're a liar. Yeah, what do you think of the interview? That's a lie. It's all right, Bob. What do you think of the interview? Um, It was all right. That's what it I was all right. Okay. Yeah. I don't really get that think? much. I really liked it. What did you like about it? There was a uh, a comment he made. He said, uh, bravery is more important than perfection. When he what? said that, what, really, does that, what does that mean to you? It touched It touched my heart. Okay. No, I, truthfully, it... uh. Because it, I think uh, a lot of people can stress about being perfect about that thing they're doing. You're perfect about wanting to be perso- you know, great with your music. You want to be great with your clothing. I want to be great with the podcasting. But it's not, it's not always What's about the, the perfection. Bravery is more important than perfection. So the bravery of doing the thing or mm-hmm. doing whatever you want to do is really the most important part. That's probably one of the best things he said on that. Too. Yeah. I, I mean, I also go under, I will say that uh, I get why people think he's absolutely out of his mind. And there are certain things, certain things he did talk about that I was like, okay, this is, I can't remember. It was towards like, I think I made it through 70% of the, of the interview and I, I was, would it, would it? And then he started, oh, he was started talking about bitching about Obama. You know, he didn't do nothing for uh, Chicago and this, this and that. And I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, well, bro, you got a lot of money. You have a lot of power. Why don't you go do something about it and stop bitching? Because I haven't seen anything from Kanye do it. But overall, I thought it was a good interview. Dylan? Did you see it? I'm like out it. on Kanye. I'm fucking out. Dope. For now? For the foreseeable future. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing. I've always been able to separate the person from the music. Mm-hmm. Right? So, I don't give a fuck what you do. If I like your song, I'm going to fucking play it. 
I listen to Michael Jackson every day. Okay. Do you? Yes. No, you don't. Not every day, but we got it. I listen to Michael Jackson more than probably anything else. All right, keep going. Uh, so I was willing to just look past all this fuckery that I don't care about, and his. Talking about Michael Jackson still, right? No, Kanye. Oh. But the music he dropped lately is dog shit in my eyes. So is I he doing don't it? Don't care. Is he doing it to just bullshit though? No. You sure? One of them, yeah. The scoopity boop, obviously, mm-hmm. clearly. Scoopity boopity. But he had another song with Ti. Shit was trash. Not good. He had another song with Travis and Uzi, which I was really excited about. Not dope at all. It's a fucking throwaway. Do you think this project's gonna be a flop? It's not gonna flop, bro. It's Kanye. Yeah, but like, do but you am think, I gonna I'm enjoy saying it? Like the reviews. Probably not. I'm not talking about. Obviously, it's gonna the sell. Reviews it's gonna numbers. Will never matter with Kanye. The what? The reviews will never matter. Yeah. It's fucking Kanye. But I'm not going to enjoy it. Oh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen like an ounce of anything from Kanye in like years that I'm like, damn, is this? this is fire. Hmm. That was like five years ago, and it's not dope to me. There's like two songs on there that are dope. I agree. I'm kind of out. I just don't care anymore. He's just like, he just keeps. You think he lost himself mentally? <clears throat> Why was he in the hospital too, for that time, like short term or it's I don't conspiracy know. Conspiracy theory. I don't even know, bro. I don't. There's know conspiracy shit. about everything, right? No, I, I really don't pay attention, to be honest. As you shouldn't. He's just no. like, I don't know. The whole Kim shit is just like weird, right? I don't know, man. What do you mean Shit's by weird. that? Did you see his ex, his ex girlfriend, do that poetry lounge shit? I don't know if I talked to you. Nah. She did this poetry lounge. I think it, I think it came out like right after. He went to the hospital last year, but it's his. It was a girl he dated before Amber Rose. I don't know her name. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Um, and she did this like poetry lounge thing, and she was, she was talking shit, but she was speaking facts. But the shit was really dope. Mm-hmm. I don't know, it's on YouTube. I was watching yesterday, but she was just saying like, she started out by saying like, "You dating this white girl? You look hungry. Look like you ain't had a a meal, a home cooked meal in mm-hmm. four years." <laughs> and then she was saying like, "You uh, you draw on sketches for sneakers." While they draw on sketches for bodies in Chicago, something like that. Yeah. And you ain't done shit to help it. She was talking a lot of shit, but I mean, she was speaking a lot of facts. And I was just like, it was at like an open mic, like a poetry lounge, like open mic. I don't know her name, but. Somebody told. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was going to say that interview was just like. He was just going off course. Man, I was me and yeah, you were he, talking like, bro. Donald he, Trump. He'd be like, yo, Donald country. Trump. He'd be like, yeah, but I did these sneakers five years ago, and no one gave a fuck. And then me and Virgil and Don C, and then we did this. And it's just like, bro, we don't give a fuck about Don C or Virgil. Yeah. We're talking about Donald Trump. Like, why are you supporting him? And he's like, yeah, but I did these sneakers, and I'm making factories. I bought 3,800 acres in Calabasas. It's like, bro, what are you it's talking just, about? It's just like, Mm-mm. we don't care. Yeah. Kanye has said before in interviews that. He doesn't read the news. He doesn't follow world matters, right? Mm-hmm. He just thinks off of whatever he feels. He said this before, and it's pretty obvious because he doesn't know any of Trump's policies. He's just on board with it. He's on board. Yeah. He's on board for the fact that Donald Trump is the president because an entertainer is now like, president. Yeah, he's Donald Trump would do it. Anyone could do it. Yeah, free yeah. thought. That's literally that whole what he thing. said at the end of the interview. And it's like. Donald Trump understands attention at a very high rate. Kanye understands attention. At a Kanye rate. is the best of all time at understanding <laughs> attention. Probably tweeting right now. They're both marketing geniuses. They know how to get a bunch of people on board with a certain idea at one time and then execute on it. Yeah. You can't take that away from either of them. I don't care what you say. Right? Mm-hmm. So Facts. it's just irresponsible Facts. that Kanye would come out and be like, yeah, I'm on board with Trump. Make America great again. This whole fucking thing. I really like what he's doing. He doesn't even know what he likes. Yeah. But the fact also, that Kanye is so powerful, people are just going to gravitate towards whatever Kanye says because he's Kanye. Mm-hmm. So then they're going to be like, yeah, we like Trump too. Yeah. Or, nah, we don't like Trump because we don't like Kanye. Yeah. It's just like, bro, if you don't know, you don't got to talk about it. It's okay. Yeah. It'd be like me coming out talking about some bullshit that I don't. But he knows those are the buttons to be pushing right now. Totally. And yeah. that's why I don't like this shit. Because yeah, we don't hear from him until he has some shit coming out. Yeah, it's corny. He just stays it's underneath. Corny. He's the, the what I was saying about Kim is like that whole world, the Kardashians, that whole like space. Yeah, 
is it's so removed from reality. Yeah. And that's all he's surrounded by. It's just like so he doesn't know how to communicate what he thinks. Yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? Like he just, I don't think he had intentions of being like, yeah, I'm about to fucking get everyone on board with Trump because we all like Trump now. Mm-hmm. I think he just thought one thing, said it, and now it's a thing, and now he's just capitalizing it because he has an album coming. But he also said this a year ago. Like, he did, this isn't right. new. He said this right. when, when Trump got elected. Yeah, I don't know. But it's just like, yeah. It's like disappointing to me, man, because I don't give a fuck about politics, as we know. I don't yeah, right. we've talked we've talked about it. But it's like it's just it's just irresponsible. Especially because he it's not like he has died is he it's not like he dove into it and he's like All right, I really agree with why this. he backs him. like literally Charlemagne asked him, What about Donald Trump do you like? And he was just like Yeah, I like sneakers. Yeah, he I completely ducked it. He was just like what? Yeah. I don't even think it's ducking it, bro. He's like he doesn't know like what the fuck going on. Like he just He just keeps rambling. Just, I think he's like he doesn't listen. It's just I think he's like low key like like bipolar or, or like something like he can't have a one thought and just say it yeah. like he just it's fucking all over the place but i mean that's what makes him one of the greatest musicians that's also what scares me though is like there are people not even just Kanye, but like the human brain is powerful that you can get to a state where you become that you know what I mean? Like, there's people out there that are nowhere near like Kanye West, but they just are all over the place. They're mentally not stable. Oh yeah. And they're all over the place. Saying, you can't yeah, control I that. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I'm not saying he's not stable. I'm not saying he's unstable. But I'm just saying he definitely is somebody that is fucking all over the place. You don't know what the hell is going on with him. But I feel like he never was totally like that. Mm, yeah. No, this he's is like always kind of been new. off off the off the rails a little bit. But it's it's elevated. Yeah. My whole point is. If these two new songs that he put out were fire, I wouldn't even care about all this shit. Because yeah. I want to be entertained by Kanye West. I won't look to him for music. I don't give a shit about all this Twitter shit. But the music's not good, so I don't care anymore. I'm going to listen to the music when it comes out. <laughs> but I, I want to be there. I don't have, I, I I don't there. have high expectations for it. You though. should do a, a YouTube video of, well, of your you action. Say? Sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I was just saying. Literally oh. nothing important. Do a YouTube reaction video of Dylan listening to the album. <laughs> I'm really is. Content, bro. Shit was lazy. Content, bro. Late, what did you say the other day? You said something that I was like, I totally agree with you. You said something about like all the shit that like a lot of music literally is just like all lazy. It's lazy. Like all of it. Like Pablo shit was lazy. Most of it. I felt like Damn by Kendrick was fucking really lazy. I don't <laughs> feel like the, the music like, wasn't, but I felt like the layout, like that whole like. Because everything has to be so quick. Just like the cover Speed. of Damn and like the name Damn and like. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I just don't get it. Maybe I'm just not smart. But I just felt like the album. I didn't yeah, care for it. Was just like I'm just I, gonna put out something that that's. I didn't really listen to it. I think I, there's just this thing where there's like a cycle in terms of the way people are consuming music, and if you don't drop within X amount of time in between your last project, mm-hmm. it's kind of a wrap. So it's like people are just dropping stuff because it's time to, not necessarily mm-hmm. because they have something else to say yeah. next. Facts. You know, like so that. it's just like, and that's it, what. It, I mean. But it'll get the job done. Like it's not even like it's trash. Yeah, it's just like, I think if someone like Kendrick or Cole or one of these guys that people expect a lot from, if they were just like waiting until they had somebody like Frank does. Mm-hmm. Frank doesn't say shit until he has to say it because he know? doesn't need to. But Frank's nowhere near as big as those guys, and no, that's and the I whole think point. That's the best part about Frank. So you do you <clears throat> do you think it helps or it doesn't help? That, but that's the way like we see it because we're goes back to like we're creative people or at least view it that way mm-hmm. i'm subpar at best the right reg- um, the regular the, the everyday music consumer yeah doesn't think frank ocean is as dope as we do so here's a question they really don't here's a question yeah. for you it's we're right. in the world now where it's they like know. oh think about you right it's, yeah. it's about speed it's about putting out content podcasting fucking whatever you do uh, if you're apple put out commercials put out tweets with apple 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 but as an artist do you think it's smart to put out a lot of music or do you get to a certain size and it's like, okay, I don't have to put out all the time. Smart from a strategic standpoint, but it doesn't always make for the best product. So it depends on the artist. There has to be a give and take. Mm-hmm. John Bellion, for instance. Well, John Bellion built it to a point where he has so many revenue streams, he's not relying on streaming or iTunes sales to live his life. Yeah. And he, and he doesn't necessarily... I'm going to eat that one, I think. Ooh, and he doesn't necessarily right. 
good. give a shit, I don't think, about becoming the biggest pop star or growing his business to a scale of like a worldly size. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it all depends on what you want. It's just my take. I don't Your two cents. I don't know shit. Steve, chocolate? How's it taste? Like, even like when I'm dropping music, I realize that not every song is like my best song to that date. But it's like, it's your strategic layout yeah. to gain a listenership. Well, this, And it worked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But in like four years or three years, I'm not going to be dropping a song every week just because I have to. Yeah, because you have it built. Yeah. You built a platform. At the same time, I'm not dropping shit I don't like. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like, there's yeah, but there's certain things you love more than others. But if you totally. if you put it out, you clearly obviously care for it. But all the fire's coming out of this summer, so. Oh. Can't wait. <laughs> can't wait to next week's pod because we can talk about some things. Like what? Fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we can talk about some Dylan and Reese things, baby. Hello. Hello. Why next week? Because that's when it's being announced. Oh, I didn't know that. Monday. Stay tuned, folks. Stay tuned. I'm out of the loop here. Oh, Only because you're at work. Break you. off a little. I only found that out today. I don't want the whole piece. Um, so I uh, I ran through Stranger Things season one and two in seven days. Yeah, you've been binging that. That shit is really fire, man. Most overrated Netflix show ever, but wow, overrated. Nah. That shit is not that great. Most Honestly, overrated ne- Netflix show is. Orange I'm and surprised the Black. you liked it. <laughs> that shit is. You liked it, right, bro? It's shot like immaculately. Yeah, the aesthetics is great. It looks fucking amazing. I know, but I, I'm surprised you finished. liked it because I feel like you're not. You're the person that doesn't like that third world well, type it, of shit. It wasn't as complex as some of the other shit like that. Okay. Like Fair. I can't watch like Lord of the Rings and shit. It's just like, bro, this is all made up. Yeah. Stranger Things at least like obviously it couldn't happen. Yeah. I mean I don't think, but it's not like fucking monsters. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Made up creatures and shit. Yeah. It's a concept that's easy to grasp. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Did you finish it? Are you done? Straight through. You're done. I needed to get that done, bro. As I watched the first episode on Sunday night, last Sunday. So nine you know. Eight, I remember you came to my room, you were like, Bro, you ever watch Stranger Things? I'm like, Yeah, I watched it. Bro. You're like, What made you want to watch it? Crazy. Because I was it was Sunday night, got back, I had, you know, the the rest of the night to just kind of chill, and uh, I was like, let me go on Netflix, couldn't find anything, and then I saw Stranger Things, and I don't click into new series, because I don't want to get hooked into it, I'll watch a documentary, watch a movie, I can watch the first one, I said, here we go, pulled me right in, fired up number two. Right? You really remind me of myself four years ago. This That's is great. literally how I think. That's great. But it's okay to just fucking binge. Yeah, I'm getting better at it actually, though. I'm good. I'm getting better at kind of stepping really like back. That. If it's a TV show, I can't watch it. I gotta watch movies because TV shows. Are I gotta long. do it, bro, just to get to a certain point. I feel you. But then it, I, I, I know in the next. I think in the. I mean, I think in the next year things are gonna hopefully make a little bit of. You a You wanna change. just lick the table or? That's yeah, clean. This okay. is chocolate. Um, and then I can go back to being a fucking normal human being, but. I'm literally cool with spending two years, three years of my life with my head down. I've already done it for almost two now, so. And it's got, it got me drama on a fucking podcast, so. If I did that, I'm going to keep fucking doing it. You think you got drama on the podcast because you weren't watching Netflix? Or I was, no, I that's just going to nah. be a smart <laughs> No, I was just going to be a smart I just don't. <laughs> I know, yeah, no. Pretty sure you could have watched Fresh Prince and drama when it came on still. I, I get what you're I saying. I got a lot of catching up to do. I get what you're saying. I'm both of you guys. I'm so at the point where I don't even give a fuck about Netflix. I'm not watching. There's only shit. certain shit. I'm finishing I'm Entourage watch. and that's it. I'm done. Well, that's like, definitely a good choice. That's a great show. And I might watch Sopranos, but just, bro, yeah. you gotta watch that, bro. I'm begging. <laughs> I got. I think I that got through the first so season. And I stopped. Uh, bro, you're cooked. I didn't like stop. I was like, oh fuck this show. I just didn't finish it. <sighs> that shit is. Amazing. I remember when I was a kid, my father was watching yeah, Sopranos, my and too. I would never understand what he was watching, but I just knew that. On, I think it was on Sunday nights. Yeah. My my he would go downstairs in our basement, and my mom was like, "You're not, you can't go down there." Yeah, my dad would shut it off. So he'd yeah. be like, "Yo, don't talk to me for the next hour." Damn, I'm like, "All right, bet." He'll come over like, "Yo, what the fuck? what the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, mad people just getting murked and shit. That show was really dope. Mm. I love those type shot, of movies. They shot one of the episodes on uh, Memorial Drive and Trigger B. Nah, hundred percent. I saw it with my own eyes. You're lying. I wouldn't ever lie to you. When? Bro. When they shot it, I don't know. In the, you saw it happen? No, bro. I saw the episode. Oh, you saw like, the oh, episode. Shit. Oh, okay. No, I wasn't the fucking was watching. <laughs> yeah, maybe you were running to school with the no, fucking no, basketball, no, no, no. bro. I was like, I forget when that show was made, like late nineties. Damn, they really shot like a Memorial Drive, right where like the Walmart Plaza is. Yeah, 
he like got dropped off somewhere or some shit. And he ended that's up, so random. That's yeah. when it was the Fairfield Mall. Yes, yeah. 100%. Wow. Ames. Oh, man, that's crazy. That's where I used to buy Pokemon cards. That's crazy. Were you into Pokemon? Mm-hmm. I think really? everybody was. I was. Did you ever get into Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Fuck no. Nah. Shit's for dweebs. Uh, no. Sign me up. Digimon? Yeah. <laughs> I, I had them, but I never like got into like the game. I just I was always into just the cards. I never like, I like got the into the too, true yeah. game. Bro, Pokemon was. Shout out to my mom. She cards? definitely spent. Or were you red. just collecting them? I feel like we, we talked about. We them. made up like some bullshit version. Like you know how it's like the all the fucking HPs and shit. Not, not even that shit on the bottom where it's like they have certain like attack yeah. moves or yeah. whatever. Uh, we ignored that part. I think we low key like played war, and whoever had more HP <laughs> just gets the fucking card. Yeah. Oh really? Or some shit like uh. some bullshit. That like a seven year old would do, because yeah. that game is fucking complicated. Yeah. yeah. How do seven year olds not play that? But you gotta remember how much HP. Damn, that's probably why I'm okay with math, probably because of that. I don't Cause remember. Pokemon yeah, because you'd be like, oh, I had this one's twenty, you have seventy, that's fifty, and then he, he would kill you, and then you'd be like, okay, that one oh, has like, fifty now. Left. I have fifty now, and then I, and then this one has fifty, 10. and now yeah. you're out. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably why I'm okay at math. It's probably. Shout out Pokemon. Shout out Pokemon one time. Yeah, that shit was really dope, man. Yeah. I remember. I'll never forget the shit. My mom can vouch for it. I was big into Pokemon, and we were on, like, not even vacation, but we went to, like, Cape Cod for, like, a weekend or some shit, because yeah. I think her friend, I don't even know. Shout out Cape Cod one time. My mom's friend had, like, a cottage or some shit. I don't even know, bro, but anyways, <laughs> you know, that was all I spent my money on. Yeah. Well, I would just, like, sell rocks, hustle on the streets, <laughs> come back with, like, 20 bucks, like, all right, we eating Pokemon cards, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, we were at Cape Cod, and I was, like, I used to always buy the packs, yeah. Just because it was like the element of surprise. Yeah. And like halftime, you Love just get that. you just get doubles anyway. And it's yeah. like fuck. But every now and then. Yeah. Exact, bro. We went to this little ass shop, and it was like it was like a fucking house, and it just had a white sign that says, "We sell Pokemon cards." Wow. And I was like, "Oh shit!" Sign me Can up. We stop. Oh, it was like on the side of the road. We stop, and I go in there. Like I know what the fuck's going on. Some bald dude. I'm like, "Yeah, man, you sell packs here?" He's like, "Yeah, man." So I take one pack. It was eight bucks, right? I open it up right at the store. I'm fucking stoked. I got Blastoise in it, Ooh. like the holographic Blastoise. That's fire. It's like the second best card. Yeah. And my mom, like, low key knew about it because I, I would like tell you talk her. about it all the time. I'd be like, Mom, well, now I got Pikachu, and then if I get Raichu, then I can level up to fucking yeah. fuckity fuck or whatever. Um, How do so you she, remember those names is beyond me. So but. she knew that like getting Blastoise was like a major move. Like I was moving up in the world. You know <laughs> leveling up. So I was just like, yeah, if only I get Charizard. That's the only one I don't got. So I'm like, fuck it. I'll buy another pack. Got fucking Charizard in the second pack, dude. And that dude was like pissed. Of course, because he He was like, what the fuck, dude? Those shits are worth bread. I I gave him 16 bucks. I walked out of there like a fucking He probably boss. opened up all the other packs and didn't have a damn thing. Loki, he was heated. He was probably pissed. That's fire. He was happy for me. For, he was happy for me, but he was like, I remember damn. the like even the Hoyoke Mall had those store like oh, two stores you could just walk in. Stoked when you got those. She was like, I can't. Believe, she was telling everybody. Yeah. She was like, Dylan got Blastoise and Charizard in the same day. <laughs> Isn't My that dad's funny? Like, what the fuck are y'all talking? Isn't that about? funny when parents like? Uh, oh, they love. When it. they love when certain like milestones happen <laughs> in your life, and you just bro, you don't know. They tell happy anybody I was, uh, and everybody in the whole weekend. I, was, I get it though, I was but just it's happy. It's just so funny. Get to yeah, shut yeah. The fuck up I was like, yo, y'all can't tell me shit. Yeah, <laughs> I got Charizard and Blastoise. That shit is so funny to me. I used to play in a bowling league for Pokemon. You played in a bowling league? Yeah, I played in a bowling league too. But the every week you get Pokemon cards. All right, we didn't do that. We got a free pizza though. That used to be like a Friday night out when we were kids. Like, yo, I'll meet you at the bowling alley. Fire. How old? Eighth grade. Oh, yeah. I'm talking like third grade for me. Yeah. I, I played in all. <laughs> Steve was out kid. there early with his fucking shorts up high, looking out at the chicks. I like, played yeah, going through. <laughs> the retarded chicks. Play, for some oh, reason, wow. retar- how? <laughs> so for some reason, Jesus, like Steven? special ed kids like gravitate Jesus. towards bowling. I don't know. Two hands like that. Facts. It's not. It's not disrespectful. Steve, like, excuse me, uh, lane three. We need the bumpers up. Can you put them up for <laughs> no, us? No, fuck, dude. I don't know what it is with bowling eyes. Every time I go, it's like. Do you, got, fest you got your there, tickets? Like, huh? Do you get your tickets? <laughs> for what? <laughs> to the gun show. Got his tank top on today. Amazing. Anyways, I played in a bowling league when I was in fifth grade. After school every Friday. You know who I went with? Matt Roy. Very, very close. What'd you say, Matt Roy? Matt Roy, very close. So close. Mike Rogers. Oh, that is like, <laughs> bro, key, that is fucking that's right a on the money. Like Chicopee, like icon. Holy I shit! I know who that is, guys. So. That's like Beavis. Guess and what? If, that's guess, like Beavis and Butthead. Like guess those what? He, two guess are, what he looks like? Uh, Mike Rogers. I don't know who that is. Big ass Asian dude. Never would have guessed that, right? 
I'm it's, out. It's, it's low key fake. But anyways, we went bowling together. <laughs> what? Every Friday, me and Mike. He's lefty. I don't know why I remember that. But uh, he got <laughs> he, he got he got nasty at bowling though. So I was like, all right, I gotta get good. You gotta Mike. chill with him. And then I got nice. Hmm. And then I just stopped. Shout out to bowling. Let's go bowling one time. Shout out to bowling. Was that the um, one in the Springfield Plaza? Burnett Road. Oh, of course. You got to go. That's where the big leaguers at. Dick's out. Dick's out. Well, not really, but, you know. Yeah. It's like the big, big boss. Well, it's either you have that bowling alley or the one on the other side. Bro, it could be near Springfield Plaza. The Chicopee Public School Department is not going to send you to the Springfield Plaza after school. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I promise yeah. you that. Shout out to that movie. Real sketchy on a Friday afternoon. Remember the movie theater for your senior prom? Oh, yeah, you weren't. Pro. No, I was there. You were there, but you were you were at someone else's date. Yeah, me and Tom went with someone. Yeah, yeah. Tom this, Rick, the private, Mike. the private. This, yo, this girl, Hanging out with the this girl. So he transferred, right? He transferred once again back to high school. He transferred his senior year to a different school, but he came back for the senior prom because it was still like all of his homies. Mm-hmm. And at the time, my girlfriend was a senior, so I went too. So we and both you're a went. Junior? I'm a junior, mm-hmm. so I'm like. Yeah, I'm going to senior prom this weekend, guys. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, this girl had an after party. Her parents own a movie theater. So Kenzie. they shut it down. Mackenzie. They had Hangover 2. She had me on Snapchat two days ago. That's fire. Not Not even shout, shout out to Mackenzie. Maybe she sees this. Dope party. Great time. But they had a private after party at the movie theater. Security at the front, like, checking your name. Dope. Hangover 2 was on. Was and then um, ass. Everything like wait, that. the girl you dated? Oh, her, no, 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 no. This was some a separate girl. In our girl. Class. This was a separate oh. girl. But her, she no. got her parents. To like shut it rent down, rent out the whole fucking on like a thing. fucking Friday night, That's just so shut dope. it down. And really so there dope. was one with the movie plan, and there was another theater where people were just, just fucking having kicking sex. it. Oh. Well, no, uh, <laughs> oh. I thought that's the way you're going. <laughs> they, were, they, were, they were kicking it. Everybody was kicking it. Uh, Steve walks in for this fucking popcorn, trying to like an, or, just getting their fucking it's like an orgy, of, on an or orgy, a bunch of seventeen-year-olds. Oh. So God. illegal, dude. Uh, just illegal. immediately, <laughs> immediately just oh, they're fucking. It's legal, dude. It <laughs> it's illegal. So next one. Shout out to Everyone's the bathroom. So there was one, there was what? One with the movie on. Can I just tell you this? One with the movie Wait, on. on. Next one, people were playing pong and shit, kicking it. In the movie theater? Yeah, yeah bro. What? Mo- the Chill. bathroom though? Shit was going down. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know where the fuck I was. <laughs> you were probably in the fucking. Shit was going bathroom. down. <laughs> nah, I was cooling because. Let's just say men, female bathroom. It was intermixed every every single. Intermixed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Uh, that would be called coed. <laughs> were you were you one in the bathroom, Bob? <laughs> I might have been doing some things, but I was. Showing. I think you were. I, was, uh, I think you I was putting your pee was, hole through a fucking Take it easy. Oh, take bro. it easy. <laughs> bro, I remember we were trying to watch the movie. Yeah. And Ali O'Shea kept fucking talking in uh, front of me. Yeah. And I tapped on her shoulder. I was chilling with Tom. Because we weren't even on some like slash shit. Me and Tom were just fucking kicking. Chilling. Uh, I tapped on her shoulder like this. <laughs> she turned around and I said, Ali, could you please... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and she fucking cried, dude. No. Yo, know, her mom picked her up. I'm pretty no. sure. No. Like, she was, like, so sad. And me and Tom were laughing for, like, three weeks. Oh. I said, um, could you please shut the fuck up? <laughs> oh, my God. That shit was... O'Shea, you still know her? O'Shea. Nah. I mean, if I saw her, we would say hi. That's, That's she, fucking she hilarious. again? I don't know. I don't think she'd cry again. I saw her at uh, South uh, South Boston right before I moved out in July. Did she end up being like a cheerleader at Boston College or something? I think she or went there for Boston cheer. University? I went there. For, she went to BC. I think that she went there for cheer, and then she graduated. And she's still in Boston. She's a valedictorian, right? O'Shea. I like I'm her. sure she was. She's a very she's smart girl. Smart. Is that Irish? O'Shea? Yes. Uh, I would assume so. Yeah, yeah. Irish? I would uh, Hey, Irish? Say? It was a bathroom thing. Uh, she was going down. Yeah, but you were saying, I want to say one thing, and then he took over. Sorry, yeah, that's, I don't know. That was it. Uh, oh. Yeah, that was it. So th- why weren't people fucking in the movie theater? Oh, they were. Yeah, see, were, I, I don't were. think you're just making this up, bro. I don't remember that. Because he would have been, you know. I would have gotten in there. That was just, was nah, open, you were too busy. It was with, just open you, range. You were too dude. busy with Tom. You were, you guys bro, were, you me guys and Tom were kicking it. used to fucking slang you guys were, it, dude. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> you guys were kicking it. Um, yeah, there was shit going down in that movie theater. That's all I'm going to say. Did your girlfriend go? Sure did. I was, I was her date because I was a junior, so I couldn't even go to the prom. Unless it was for her. <clears throat> Wait, juniors can't go. I don't to like. Prom? I don't senior like that. Yeah, junior prom is senior hey, prom. Don't do There's that no, out eyebrow what? shit, bro. <laughs> Wait, what? For real? There's no. That's weird. Well, no, it's, it's two different ones. Yeah, because we got a big ass school. 
Y'all weird, dope. Y'all weird. Y'all weird, dude. The fuck you guys doing out in the desert? Camp- <laughs> campfires? <laughs> what? What are you guys doing senior, in the desert? Senior campfire? No. There was just um, one prom and everybody went. How many? How many? Be a freshman how go. many students in your school? High school? Like three hundred thousand something. Four thousand? Yeah. What do you mean? My class had nine fifty. Holy shit! Yeah, what are you talking about? That's Damn, crazy. Bro. You thought I went to a fucking <laughs> private fucking thought, school with three kids? No, I just thought so, I thought that's why, they, that's why they only had one prom. Yeah, because it was like fuck it, it's a free. I thought oh, where oh, you grew okay. up, it was like fucking hay Bro, there's no, streets. There's one hundred fifty thousand people they in Palmdale. Had, they had one hundred fifty. They had senior prom and junior prom, and you could go if your date was a junior was prom a junior. or a senior or, or a junior or a senior. Oh, okay. So like. If you're a sophomore, you're not going to prom yeah. unless unless you're big league. Now, this yeah. is, oh, you know what's random? Exactly. I went to I went to um, Cotillion with Ali O'Shea sophomore Wait, year. What's that? So, the sophomore year dance. Oh yeah, I was they a got freshman. Cotillion too. Most awkward thing Reptilians in my life. We didn't. Hey, we didn't. I don't think we danced once. I just went as I a went, date. I went to Cotillion with um. If you weren't dancing, huh? What'd you do if you weren't dancing? Literally chilling. At, I went at to Cotillion with the um with the homies, and then I went out. Who did I go to Cotillion with? Because I wanted to go with you guys. My junior, Nikki. Um. Fuck, dude. Nikki Pearl. Oh, you did. I went. With she's her. a fire date. She's super she's cool. Fucking, yeah, yeah, she's down to earth. She get. It. She got a wet three. Though. Yeah, she got wet three. I say, yo, let's go she'll out shoot this. Yo, she outshot him. Oh, definitely time. not. Definitely oh, this not. is your. This is your. This is, your this is his competition. That's my what? That was your boo. No, yeah. hell no. We we're just kicking. Oh. It. Well, I don't so mean hell no. Bob, like, Jesus. dating <laughs> up. Was she more experienced? Huh? Dating up. Yeah. Was she more experienced? Yeah. She was alright. That's good. He said. Yeah, she was alright. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, dude. She's supposed to come to Dylan's show actually on tour. So yeah, the show that we have in Western Mass is her oh, birthday. Please, God, let me be able to go to these things. I don't believe it. Tell Southwest to fucking take. Hey, it. thanks for just dropping the knowledge. I don't know what I was talking about. Um, it's alright. Come on, dude. Um, <laughs> yeah, fuck it. We going on tour. <laughs> <laughs> Dates dropping on Monday. Hit me up. Hit me up. Yeah, yeah. We can't keep keeping this yeah. in the dirt. Like, dude, 117 on the Instagram. Like, come on. They're not gonna be peeping it. You know what I mean? They won't. They won't tell nobody. They might. Yeah, they might. I might. Well, they'll find out yeah, soon enough. Nah, problem was hella fun though. Hella fun. Where are you oh, from? I now? love that shit. How, you from? Actually, your I'm mom from, had from at, LA, bro. I had spoke. I had spoke about. to your mother two yeah, weeks mama. ago, and she actually. She wanted me to ask you how many proms you had been to. A, a lot. A lot? I, I think I went to seven my senior year. That's crazy. And I didn't pay for any of them. Fire. I don't know how you managed it. I went to one prom. I was like, get me the fuck out of here. No, nah, I used to love that shit because I used to love dancing and shit. I used to love fucking party, dude. Yeah. Sober. The blowout. Was that Sober. blowout year? Yes. Yes. Man, that was a fucking. Nah, I didn't dance like that. Holy shit. But that was a, oh, those were the times. Poly D dance? But I had the Poly D hair, though. That's why I, I did that. Didn't. Um, but yeah, man, good times. The reason why I was able to do that is because of low key because of Gary Gary Peralt. I thought you were gonna say Gary V. I thought you were too. Yeah. Nope, didn't know him <laughs> then. You know Gary Peralt? Great guy. You familiar? Yes, bro. Mr. P. Yeah, Mr. P taught uh, at Bellamy. Then substitute teacher. Yeah, teacher. He, biggest pimp. He must have been like real into his, new into his career when we were in school. He was twenty six. Our senior year was of high school. Really? So in middle school, he was like your age. Wow. If not younger. Okay. He was the shit. So he also worked at Men's Warehouse. Yes. Yes. And I brought him Reese McFly tees in exchange for free vests Unreal. for like a month so I can go to prom with yeah. different colors. That's dope. He said, bro, just bring me some fucking tees. I'll hook you up. He hooked it up. I said, Mr. P, a.k.a. Gary, because now I'm old. Shout out to you, Appreciate bro. it. Mr. P. He was the man, bro. Yeah, he was. Isn't that funny how all substitute teachers just go by that one, the one syllable? One. Mr. Mr. Johnson? Except Mr. Johnson, bro. Oh. Bro. Mr. Johnson is low-key Dave Chappelle you know before I knew who Dave Chappelle yeah. was. He, the class would come in, turn out the lights, he go, where'd a black man go? Where'd a black man go? <laughs> <laughs> and the dude was just super black, bro. And he was just like mad funny, bro. He was hilarious. He said, all you could see was my teeth. <laughs> like, he, would, he would love shit like that. He was like being racist towards himself and shit. <laughs> and these are little kids, bro. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, they don't know. What all the, the black kids in our class are like, yo, chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill, uh, chill, 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 chill. Nah, he's cool, though. That dude that dude was funny as shit. He did not give a fuck about anything. So the teachers are the best. Because, like, why is that even a job, dude? That shit is fire. Because they're just like, all right, guys, I don't know any of you guys, so you can do whatever but you want. They make a, I mean, some of them make a little living off I of I mean, it. no shit. But, like, what the hell? What do you mean, no shit? 
Because that's their fucking job. Of course they make a living. Oh, you mean like... Oh, I'm saying what like, saying. what is the point? Oh. Because of like... They're chilling, they bro. They have no ties to anything. Yeah. You can just go in and do a shitty job and it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah that's the best. You'll be back next, you'll be back <laughs> next like, week. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to, the best gig going to a different school tomorrow. You're going to biology. So. Not, not their, uh, sometimes down you their might own. get that permanent gig for the rest of the year. Yeah, yeah. see, that's where... Mm-mm. That shit is so... That's like, the best. That's like, when you take advantage because like they don't in. give a fuck. You're locked in. That's like when the... Like if your teacher gets pregnant or something. Yeah, or see you. sick or whatever. Yeah. Good times, man. Those are great times. We had a substitute teacher in high school. His name was Mr. C. This dude was like a part-time actor, but like at first you had to like break, you had to like break him in a little bit. At first he was like hard. He didn't give a fuck. Like he would be like, yeah, you're going to, you're going to the office. We don't care. Like you just bullshit. <laughs> Get the fuck to the office. So you got to break him in a little bit. I got sent to the office a couple of times. And I was like, all right, you got to break him in. Like you got to get to know him. Yeah. And you just start cracking jokes. And finally he was just like, he was giving me A's on my uh, reports. He was cool with it. He, he, had, cool a, he with had to it. break him in a little bit. But yeah. every time he see me, I would say some fucking dumb shit to him. And he would just laugh and be like, yo, get your ass to class. Like, he would cuss and shit. That's why everybody fucked with him. Yeah. How does he have the authority to give you a grade? Huh? How does he have the authority to give you a grade on your test? What do you mean? He's a substitute teacher. I thought he was a sub. No, he was there for the rest of the year. Oh, he got locked he got, in. He got locked he got in. Locked At first, in. he was only there for a the couple so weeks. So you got to treat him good. That couple of weeks, I was an asshole. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, we're you locked in. That up. We're locked in from January to May. We got to, mm-hmm. you know. Let's tighten it up a cool little dude. bit. If I seen him now, he'd like play the guitar. He would play the guitar. And Maybe shit. I'll become a substitute teacher. You should. No, honestly, you really, you honestly. Go promote your music. Joe's dad How's used maple? to do it. One to ten? I said, I'm good, baby. One to ten? Damn, baby. Damn, baby. One to Joe, ten? Uh, Bob, n- not everything needs a rating. All right, we're in. Um, Joe's dad used to do that shit for like extra money on the shit on the side when he wasn't getting. This is before his business popped off. But they make they make solid money for what it is. It's not bad, right? Yeah, uh, Darius, yeah, I can't deal with fucking kids though. You don't have to. I feel like you'd love it. Um, I would not. Darius leaving us tomorrow. I know. It's he only just, been five he months. He just texted me. Did he? For the last time that I just realized that actually. What do you say, yo man? Can you leave the door unlocked? Wow, that's the last time. Last time. You should send send him the emoji with the cry I'm with, the, right with the one tear. He just texted you. Right that now. was a Literally, quick. That's why I just looked at my phone. Quick five. Damn, Got here really Christmas have. Eve. Well, I mean, granted, he left for like, a like three weeks on tour. Then he, he went home there. for a, a week. So we'll call four months. Call four months. Damn, that's crazy. So that was I mean, hilarious. he's only moving 15 minutes away. We're still going to see him. But yeah, I know. But still, not the friendly it's gonna be face on enough. the couch. Now I have a Fortnite. Yeah. At night. Yeah. I'm not waking up to somebody playing Fortnite. <laughs> he actually said. <laughs> that's know, hilarious. Like, he's he's going to be like, what's up? What, why you crying, big Why you crying, dude? That shit, though, a conversation we were having earlier before I left. That shit was fucking funny when he was like, What was it? We were talking about dicks. Or, yeah. Sick. We're talking about dick sizes. Like, like no, how? No, this shit is actually like fast, though. Because it's what like, how are, okay, typically Chinese people or Asians typically have the smaller dicks, right? Okay. And this is not on some stereotypical bullshit. We looked it up. Yeah, the stats. Yeah. It's literally. No, this isn't stereotypical. This is like, bro, if you see an Asian person, you're like, his dick is probably little. Like, everybody says this shit. It's you know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah. But, the, but there was a chart. We looked up average dick size in, like, countries. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And they're, like, listed them. We're on some real gay shit. In the morning, top. But it's all good. The bottom good. 10 were all in Asia. Okay. And the top 10 were all in Africa. So, you tell me what the fuck's going on. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not even, like, a stereotype anymore. Yeah. It's just real. Yeah. So, we were, I was saying, like, where the hell does that... Like, why is it that certain regions of the of the world are like smaller dicks versus know. like other? So that's what I was saying. And then, but me and I was saying like, what you do is to get your dick size, you just divide your shoe size by two, divide by four. I know it just sounds <laughs> mad complicated. I, and then uh, Darius, the math. Darius was doing the math. And he was like, "Yo, chill, yo, chill out." <laughs> <laughs> Still, I'm a size eight and a half. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever the fuck he did. That shit was fucking funny because he was really like. Yo, he's mad fucked because he's always like mad kind. He's like, yo, bro. Super monotone. Yeah, very monotone. Very monotone. Nothing in here. Nah, it's just for the display, bro. Sorry, man. Damn, I wish I can get up and get some water. Do people like the D's of the Q? Oh, that's (laughs) gone. That's gone. It's over? It's out of here. No one likes it? I think somebody said, I give a fuck. Give it the fuck out of here, then. Give it the. I remember commenting on it and said, who gives a flying so, fuck? And no one answered. Somebody, re- somebody just commented uh, like an hour ago. Let me see if I can pull it up on YouTube. No, on our on the podcast page. They said, "Let's see, let's see where it is." This dude said, "Are y'all still alive together?" He said, "Y'all still live together?" Question mark. One hour ago. Who is it? Dor- Dorn sucks. 
That's some bullshit. So, so you click. Appreciate you. Oh, oh, word. Appreciate you tuning in, but don't know who that yeah, is. Yeah, I don't know. And yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next. We'll see you in a couple of days, buddy. That would have been a quick turnaround. Yeah. What? If we didn't live together anymore. Yeah. All right, man. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Sorry. <laughs> Breakfast <laughs> is served. Gone. That would have been tough. If we don't live together, breakfast is served. Is done. I don't know. It has to be. Yeah, I feel like it's if the if it's if the dynamic isn't there. It's At what age do you have to have stop having roommates? Great, half. Great question. Half? Huh? You said have to. Like, no, if, like what age is like? What is it not acceptable? Yeah, like thirty-two. You still having roommates is like kind of weird to me. I forget what comedian was, but I was somewhere. Don't remember where. Maybe it was a laugh factory. No, it was when I saw Christina P. At uh, Ice House, one of the dudes that opened, he was talking about. Uh, he still has a roommate, and he's like thirty four, and his two roommates are like twenty three, and they're and they're a couple, and it's just him. That's fucking. And he's that's just dope. like, yeah, I think I need to not do this. <laughs> it's just like one. I think I was with you, Laugh Factory. No, maybe it, maybe it was Laugh Factory. I think it was Laugh Factory. I was with you. Yeah. So I was there too, by the way, guys. Just in case you forgot. Oh, so, true. Were you? Yeah. That's my parents. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm just kidding, buddy. I wasn't here. I I, I remember. I remember everyone was there. Mm-hmm. Me, good us time. Th- us three. Nate, Nate, Nate had just moved out there. Us three. Nate and Bob's parents mm-hmm. here for a good yeah, time. Good time. It was <laughs> yeah. yeah. The Halloween blue whale. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, roommates. <laughs> What age? I don't fucking know. I don't. I, don't, I, I think it's just all situations. Because I told someone the other day I have roommates, and they're like, "How old are you?" And I was like, "24." They were like, "Oh, huh. all right." I was like, "Why that long pause?" Yeah, nah, they the were fuck? just judging you for like, no get reason. the fuck you're out of here. Even what if the fuck do you live? Even with? if we were thirty, I don't think <laughs> it's a big your mom. Deal. Fuck out of here. I think it depends on where. I, I, I don't even know. I feel Some like people are single. Bro, I feel like, like twenty-eight is like all right. Yeah, I mean, it just depends on your situation. Yeah, I don't think it's a big deal. If you're not making bread, what do you want to do? Put yourself in a horrible position so for some shit yeah, you can't afford. Just, yeah. just because it's like, I am 28. I shouldn't yeah, have roommates true. according to society. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Don't but it's it, like. Don't also, give it a society, bro. If you're 35 and you can still only make a third of the fucking house, it's like, okay. Well, like, well I think it's time to move on. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Let's just jiggle the career status here. Yeah. Some people just. Or don't. Chill. I don't give a fuck. Some people are just chilling, bro. They don't care. I love chilling. Me too. <laughs> Where are we at? We got oh, 15 minutes. We got, any, we got any more questions? We got 15 minutes there? left or we're 15 minutes in? We got 15 minutes. Because I have no idea. Left. You do have a conception of time. What, what do you boys got? What do you boys got? Uh-oh. He's got bird noises coming. <laughs> Sorry, it's late, dude. Anything? <laughs> it's always interesting how wine makes teeth a bluish tint. Why is that? Dude, my lips usually get fucking red. Are they red? It's not thick enough for two C's, baby. Yeah, wow. so what do you think it is, though? Mm. What? Back to dicks. The like, dick size. Oh, we're going to go back to that? Well, I'm just well, curious. It's just a real question. Because it's like, why the fuck is certain regions bigger than the others? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Didn't you say there was, like, there's a country? Yeah. There's a country in Africa, like, the people are, like, Average high like six five, like everybody's fucking tall. A country right next to it, smallest country in the world. Everybody's like five foot fucking four, and it's right there. And they're right next to each other, bordering each other. And it's like, where does why is there just huge? Granted, that has gap. nothing to do with dicks, but same. But concept. we're just saying like the same concept. Like, why is Asia, like China? Jap- I mean, I don't know Jap- Japan. I don't know all that shit, but like China specifically has smaller dicks than the rest of the world. Carrying to this, this website. Who could, why the, why which the, could be completely made why up for all you know. Does Germany, which is it. not that far, or whatever country you want to pick in Europe, Russia, you go two miles up. Why is the earth round, Steve? No, that's not the question, Bob. The question is, <laughs> I don't have the no, answer, bro. That doesn't make little, sense. I don't have the answer. Doesn't why do, sense, why, why are there but, multiple languages in the world? I want to know that. No, because people, what do you mean? Why isn't there just one, one that's language? That's an easy answer. That's a really fucking easy answer. Whoa, take it easy, boys. Come on, brother. <laughs> Come on, brother. <laughs> no, I but it's just like what's the purpose of the of the us? I just want to know <laughs> purpose in the youth. <laughs> no, it's like what purpose are we doing right now? What are what is what is this people like? This is called content. <laughs> this is content. It's what I like to call 
feeding the audience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give it to him. I, I could have said anything. Uh, yeah, you could have said anything. I like the call. Uh, yeah. Feces. Like, uh, you could have just. What? Whoa. <laughs> I just thought it um, was. Nah, it, it's, it's just interesting. It's interesting when you think about, like, what's. Or, this like, whole... you know, they'll be like. Genetically, right? Everyone's, like, normal size or short. And then there'll be one motherfucker that's like six six. It's like, yeah. yo, where'd you come from? Yeah, yeah. And their parents this ha- are like five foot eight. Why does this happen? Shit. Yeah. But I feel like there has to be a reason why there's like little dicks and big dicks. There's a reason for everything, man. And I don't know what it is. Have you googled it? Maybe it has to do with something about, like, you know how like animals turn certain co- like like let's say there's a there's an orange lizard that lives. <laughs> I like, I like where this is going. <laughs> Let's say there's an orange, an orange lizard. lizard. There's an orange liver that lizard. <laughs> <laughs> the shit that comes to your head, bro. <laughs> fucking cut. Let's say there's an orange lizard. Like, you could have went with, like, a fucking... <laughs> okay, okay. Where's the orange lizard? Now I'm A curious. red ladybug, a fucking... An eagle, a bird, just a re- an oh, orange lizard. Fuck. Okay, let's say there's an orange lizard that lives in Utah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that lives in Utah. <laughs> okay, and then somehow his he fucking, hiked his him. orange ass gets to Guatemala. Okay. And it's very green in Guatemala. Uh-huh. So he adapts and he turns to green. Guatemala. So he turns green over time. Right. Adaptation, right. right? Right. So back to dick size. Let's say that. You have a seven inch dick, but the women that you're fucking, they don't need seven <laughs> inches to get pregnant. Right. So, what? no, right. because, right. because ahead, their uteruses finish. and shit are too, okay. are, are very, very. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm going to just let it rock. Go ahead. Uh, you don't get very, pregnant based on the size nah, of the nah, dick. Nah, nah, listen, 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 listen. Because you never know. You know, how do you know that? What? It's fucking science. Okay, but that's not the point. So. Let's say that the seven inch dick doesn't doesn't need to be seven inches space wise. Space wise, because the women's were I don't know the women's anatomy like that, so I don't know what accepts oh, the fucking the semen, but it doesn't need the seven inches, right? Okay. So over time the dick gets little because it's like I don't need seven inches anymore. Okay. So now it just turns to three. So you're saying Asian women have have shorter smaller vaginas. <laughs> yes. And like the semen is more accepting. And close. Accepting. Interesting. <laughs> like empathetic? I think I'm on to something. No, I, I kind of get what you mean. You know what I mean? Yeah. It the orange do, lizard is this definitely do, the name of the That was episode. definitely an extreme example <laughs> that didn't need to happen, but well, I understand. So basically it's like it's like an adaptation law. Like it, yeah. our bodies in our evolution mm-hmm. are just adapting to like what's called for based on your surroundings. Yeah, like mm. thumbs. Thumbs are or um huh <laughs> no <laughs> Bob loves that shit now huh. <laughs> thumbs <laughs> we don't need our thumb or no we need our thumbs but they at first we, we didn't definitely have them. need it bro yeah. yo think about it you know what I mean yo if I didn't have my thumb you wouldn't have nothing to fucking sit on <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit no bullshit that suck yeah that yeah, oh, sick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you got any fucking cues to ask me bro what dude you got any cues you got any D's to ask yeah you licking them lips bro had a little maple taste on it. Uh, it tastes good. Mm-hmm. What is... Oh, never mind. That's a tree, right? Maple? Yeah. Yes. So they get a flavor from a tree? Where do they get it? flavors? No, where does it's, the flavor from maple come hey, from? Um, Steve, actually, what, actually, why is this guy this. blue? It's Orange from <laughs> it's from the bark. It's from It has a certain type of bark. Really? Yeah. Steve, what, religion, you like, what religion you like? You have to like <laughs> tap it. You have to like tap it out of the bark or some shit. I forget. Oh, where? I, I watched some shit on my... Because that's how they make maple syrup, obviously. Oh, where? How fucking bored were you when you watched that? No, I was in school. Oh, okay. I just That's, remembered it for some reason. Science class. What did yeah. you ask me, Bob? Well, uh, what religion do you believe in? Mm, none. Apparently. Why apparently? I forgot to tell you um, when you went to work today. Well, I, I didn't forget to tell you. I just didn't see you yet. But while you were at work today, mm-hmm. I converted to a Scientologist. Oh, word? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Both of us. How's that? We went to the place right down here in well, the valley. I'll let you know. All right, I, I'm still uh, I'm still paying it off. Okay, and I'm gonna have to murder you if you don't. Yeah, so that's the Scientology. I was telling you that they have their own fucking TV Bro, channel on Directv. As soon as you told me that, you know that right? As they have soon, their own channel on as Directv. Soon, can you buy it or what? No, it's free. Bro, you can literally just. As soon as you told me that, I literally started getting Scientology channel Instagram ads on my stories. No, 
Yeah, the phone's listening. You. Yo, the phone's always listening. Get One the fuck out of here. Your phone I is saw always it today listening, again. bro. It was like it was like login now, Scientology. What? Fucking on fucking cable or something. Why is it that I never Whoa. saw one fucking building of Scientology on the East Coast ever? Because Tom people are global. a little bit more grounded on the East Coast. That's uh, why. Mm, <laughs> no, because they're too caught up in Catholic Catholicism. Yeah. There's mad Scientology buildings out here. Yeah, and they're not people are out fucking well, it's, because they, it's because they prey on like the, the entertainment yeah, industry. They prey on the weak. Oh. The insecure. Oh, the, thank I need you. orange spray tan to look pretty. Yeah. People are people are like trying to move up in that world. So they use Scientology as like the channel to do that. Exactly. Cooked. Facts. Bro, I remember when we went on the deep dive. I don't think we had the podcast yet, right? We I don't know. No, that was no. early. That was early when we moved. That was when here. I hurt my foot. <sighs> Bro. Glad I wasn't there for it. But he didn't know you didn't know a lot and I was I like, didn't know let shit. me let me just tell you right like I was giving it I was saying like John Travolta. You were like, what the fuck? Yeah, that shit's we crazy. should not talk about this honestly. Yeah. No, but I was gonna say on the direct T V shit, they had this whole thing about L. Ron Hubbard and he was speaking. Like he was doing the voiceover. Like narrating. And it was all acted out. Chill. Bro, this shit was creepy. And his voice is like we went no, to I actually the sea, heard it before. and the That's sea cooked. was rough. It was like it was something about a boat or something. I was trying to watch it. And I'm like, what the fuck? People are watching this. Let's not talk about that it. Is literally, fuck Scientology. This is literally a cult. I, I picked up one person just, from a Scientology yeah. building, and I was very nervous for that Why? ten minutes home because the Thought guy getting in my car was sketchy. Did, really? really? Did he sit directly behind you? Was he standing on your Thankfully seat? Thankfully, he sat to the back right, uh, so I, I kept my eye on him. But it was a little, a little nervous. A little nervous. I don't. I don't like to judge a book by its cover, but this guy was for sure a little out there. I think you were judging him a little bit. I was for sure was based on what he was wearing. I it's was only like, natural yeah, to judge. judge. It's only natural to which, judge people. Which building? The one in Hollywood, Hollywood or the one Hollywood? In, uh, That's why I was North even Hollywood. more like, all right, this is gonna be. Interesting. Have you seen right. the one in North Hollywood? Yeah, it's. Fucking you seen the one huge. in Pasadena? Uh uh-uh. uh Crazy. Huge. Is it? The Bro. mansion. I was fucking running. Away from it. When, when did you see that? We I should was in we walk in randomly. We should pick one and go. And just see we should know we could get a personality test. They have those. No, but like I want like the whole point. Yeah. We should like fucking. Yeah, just yeah we're there. here. No, nah, join, join the cult. They're on some weird shit. They'll like find our address and we'll be getting like emails and shit. I'm all set. <laughs> they could they could test I'm all set. do their own thing. Let's get Burbanks. But it's only address. natural to judge people by the way they look or come across. Yep. So I don't feel bad. If you're about in it. Scientology, I'm judging the fuck out of you. Tom Cruise, I'm judging you. Hey, dude. Also, judge. judge. No, we know about you, Tom. Tom. Thomas. The you thought I wasn't going to find out. Man. Thomas. We know about you, Tom. We all got to whisper when we talk about Yo, Tom. chill. I don't like this because he's going to like find us. Oh, yeah. Man, fuck. Tom Cruise is two foot two. I'll, chill. I'll wow. That's another secret. That That's they another little they, thing you don't know about Tom Cruise. They hide. What? All his movies and his contracts are Homie's all. Homie's like five, they, four. They can't yeah, he, shoot, I knew that. They he's, can't shoot any any shots that um, make him look. He, that make him look small, but he, if he's next to someone who's like six foot, they won't shoot from his feet up, or they'll they'll level out like the the, the shot. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, they'll just do it from an angle where you get. Like you don't know unre- it's uh, crazy that he's that, that he's five four and they can make it look boom. Yeah, no problem. What's the movie Tropic Thunder? He's in at the at the end. If you watch it very carefully, they don't show shit. Like they don't. There's one where like they show him like standing on the thing and they show it like from here to make him look fucking huge. It's just like dude, you're fucking. It's okay to be short, man. I, I think I think the deal? TV film that whole world of how that pro- I'm so interested by that process of how they get that end product, like the like what happens to get that finalized movie, or even when I'm watching mean, like Stranger Things. No, just every aspect of creating a TV show or just or. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It's fucking mind blowing to me. None of it is by accident. Yeah, I know. I'm, that's what I think is crazy is how every yeah. all the details. They happen behind the scenes. They literally just to get think about done. every shot before it happens. Yep. Like this shot is gonna follow this shot, mm-hmm. and then after that, we're gonna pan left to right, come up from the floor and show. It's like, yo, that's what the unbelievable. Hell? Yeah, it's crazy. Even like, it would drive me off the fucking wall. Even honest. like watching Stranger Things and like seeing the scenes. But that shit's not even like. That's like the best thing I've ever seen. When they did the map, like the way it when they did the like, map of all the tunnels, like I thought about, it, I'm like, they somebody had to draw these all out, and then place this through this entire set. Yep. That's why they spend like millions of dollars per episode. It's unreal. Yeah. That show, like, kinda, so, hey, shout out to filmmakers one time. Yeah. Directors. We should get Alan on the podcast. 
Bring him through. Let's do it. Yeah. He's supposed to come over tomorrow. Well, but could have shot this then. Yeah. Don't fall. Next week. Yeah, we'll get him on next week. He's fucking cool. I like him. Yeah. Bring him through. But he, well, he works on set. Huh? He works on Big Brother, which is the yeah. the CB or yeah. whatever show. Bring him in. He was telling me, like, they had Ron Artest. They had the celebrity one, and Ron Artest or Meta World Peace. I was on there and like he's saying like some of the people on there have like the weirdest requests like Ron wanted like uh, he needed like fucking buffalo meat or something like they had to like go find it they were like where the fuck do we get buffalo shit no 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 no. you know what it was Alan told me the story too I was with you or he told me separately it was bison bison yeah what the fuck dude bison's actually bomb is it bison like if you get a bison burger it's unbelievable it (laughs) tastes just like a burger but it's like 10 times leaner so it's good protein so what's place so it. there's no point of getting a bison burger if it tastes like a burger. It's healthier. It's much uh, leaner than a regular burger. But it's not more Bison bomb. County and in Waltham, unreal. But it's not you more can taste bomb. Bison yeah, but, County? Uh yeah, that was a restaurant. Is that a what is that what was that main Bob, street called? Have you ever heard of Here we go. Placebo? Yeah. You know what that means? Yeah. That's what that is. Why yeah. are you talking like Coach Hager? So <laughs> Steve um, uh, Hey Bob, you ever heard of the Placebo. You ever heard of the motion offense? <laughs> well, that's a little something that we're going to be running here at Regis <laughs> College. And um, I have a lot of confidence that yeah, you'll fit into it. That's your yeah. boy. That's your boy. He's the man. <laughs> Shout out Coach Hager. Shout out to married. Coach Hager. Really good coach. I think he got married. Shout out to Regis College. I wouldn't doubt it. He was slanging Dylan the Dylan said he's yeah. buying a building when he has a couple mil. Buying who? Regis College a building. What are you going to call it? <laughs> <laughs> I never said anything. Dorothy. Either, so. <laughs> I'll probably name it the Fuck Me Suck Me. <laughs> <laughs> fuck uh, Me Suck Me Dormitory? Yeah. The the Fuck Me Suck Me Library. I'll, I'll rename the library. Okay. Wow. I spend a lot of time in the library. There's going to be a lot of sex books in there. Psych. Psych. Fuck academics. You know what I mean? Oh. Wow. Just Great. kidding. Not really. That Not really. Where are the academics from? Excuse me? The artist? Academics? Oh, That's no. He's a, he's a producer. He's, he's a, a dumbass. He's a producer. No. He's just a guy. Personality? He's not a producer? What does he do then? Personality, he just talks. He's a dumbass. He's a <clears throat> troll. Is he? Yeah, that's the dude on Everyday Struggle. Is that show alive? No. It's done? I thought he would produce him for They shut it down? Shit. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah, you're yeah. thinking of The Alchemist. Oh, yeah, okay. Word. That's something completely different. Okay. That's a producer, though. Okay, he's good. So they shut down he the show? He also produced Shook Ones Part 2 Hey. by Mob Deep. That's pretty good. That's, a, that's definitely a classic. That's the best beat ever. Or it's as up there, true. but uh, yeah, academics is a jackass. Huh. Go ahead. That was it. What was it? You didn't say anything. I don't remember. Pablo like he's about to fall over on his chair. Bro, is I'm it past your bedtime? Let's pour up another one of these. <laughs> Let's do a two-hour pod today. Let's fire it up. You guys down? I got another one. He's not. He's not. He's Bob. You're not. lying. Yeah. I'll do it right now. Bob wants yeah, to get the fuck out of here and nah, crawl into his bed and let's, watch let's, Stranger let's Things uh, Part Five. Let's get a refill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. Are you really? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, but bro. I need more. Are I need you more. down? Though? Yeah, brother. I need more water, though. So uh, I'm gonna refill this. I think Bob's out. I can tell by his body language. Bob's been out, bro. Bob. Bob's like low key, like the a worst bull, guest. A we bullshitter. Have. Yeah. Because he's like the content king, mm. but he's not down though. Like mm. he's down to make, just like well, exactly he's, what he's he the said. One, he is the one editing it. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. It's easy, dude. You it's a little edited. bit different. You edit this one then. All right. No, we do not. You know what I'm See, I know he's not down. Because yeah, I, I need to. Con- I, it's my fucking project to do it. No, that's my YouTube channel. Mean? I just got to do it. <clears throat> so you tell me if I edit this, it's not gonna look the way you want it. Oh no, that's not what I'm saying. So I'm trying to take on the res- responsibility. Okay, but of doing what if it. you had a uh, an intern? I'll intern, for, I'll intern for if I had an intern doing the stuff that I did, yeah, then but that's it, not his. That's not you your to, content. That's huh? your content, and someone else is doing it. What's the difference if he's doing it and your intern? I'm putting you in a corner here, Bob. And how are you going to fight? I'll that? intern for you for one day. Edit this shit. We're doing another fucking hour. Another hour? Another yeah, hour? Dude. I don't know if I got another hour of me. I could do another thirty right, though. It's over then. I could do a thirty. Nah, it's over. We go all in over here. All right. All right, we're all in then. I'm all Bob? in. If Bob's all in. If Bob's out, I'm out. And if you want to do it. No, how many, how many Budweiser's do you have? Yeah, he said, I don't want to edit that shit. I don't want to. <clears throat> well, that's right. No, on, it's it. right on the hour. Uh, any final words? We're not doing no more Q's of the D's, so we went 19, 18 <laughs> how about, strong. How about D's of the Q's? <laughs> What's that, dude? Come on, brother. Huh. It's, uh... Huh. 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 Yeah, I don't know. Hard. 
Oh, the day of the question. There it is. Yeah. It's Jesus. Shout out Jesus. Shout Wait, out hold, Jesus. On, hold Shout on. out to Earth. Do you think Jesus is like real? Like he was I real? I have no idea. No, tell me. I have no idea. What do you mean? You... Part, part of me thinks it's real. Part of me thinks it's No, I mean, bullshit. do you think he was real? I never saw him. Do you think at one point he was like a real person and he walked on water and he... No. Had like... He had like long hair. I don't think so. You think he was black? I think he was black. What's his last name? Christ. Really? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> Yeah, bro. I'm about to fucking throw this mic <laughs> to the window. I don't know. I don't. I don't. What was his middle name? H. Jesus. H. Christ. <laughs> what was Get that your H ass over here. That's what God said to him. What did H stand for? Holy. Jesus. Holy Christ. Yeah, dude. The fuck out of here. Or the mind trip thing about that shit. What is? Have you ever had a horchata? Excuse me. Gee. <laughs> You guys have never had horchata? No hey, idea what that is. What? <laughs> okay, well, we're going to get horchata for huh? you guys. That's a Mexican drink. You never had it? No. Nah, it's gotta, does it have alcohol in it? No, it's oh. fire, though. Wait, cinnamon? It's a nah, cinnamon man. Mexican drink. Hmm. I'm not fire. Fire? I'm not that cultured. They definitely got it at Daniel's Tacos, for sure. I don't oh, know how good it is. That place is really good, good man. That's yeah, solid. It's like slept on, though. It's not my favorite, but it's What's pretty your good. favorite? Plus, also, you I'm not a remember. huge taco person, though. Me neither. I, I like burritos. I like their... Uh, I mean, I love Mexican. I like their uh, <coughs> quesadillas. Quesadilla. They make it right on the fucking thing outside. Yep. But you, you walk, Dude, you park. You fuck. That actually sounds really good. Really good. Really good. You, right now. you park. You smell it immediately. Yeah. Um, I like it. Before we shut this Let's pod down, down, I just want to give a quick yeah. shout out to... Um, get it. Are you serious? Yeah. Shut this pod down. We're going to fucking get some time. I want to give a shout out. I want to give a shout I want to give a shout out to... Doing the bug slayer yesterday, killing oh, dude. three for three. No, Steve, Steve killed some oh, too. I uh, killed two. You, you were two for three. I were think one. we both got I killed two. two. Oh, word. Two for I two. I want to hear one in my room. You guys did a great job. So, Are you like scared like, of flies or? Nah, bro. I just didn't. I couldn't kill it. I was like, yo, bro, I can't kill this fly. He's like, yo, I got this shit. Yo, I came in here one. whooping ass, dude. Killed the first one. I was like, all right, oh, word. And then hey, wow. he's, like, he's like, survey the room. No, you're good at spotting flies. Yeah, he's good. Bro, I got to give credit where it's due. Yeah. He's got the peepers out. <laughs> he is the fly. see him, dude. <laughs> Jacob Owens? Yeah, dude. Jacob Owens. I had, get... I had a kid in my class named Jacob Owens. He's from Arizona. Wait. Different one, different one, different one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not whoa, him, bro. Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa, we'll save that for another whoa, day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Breakfast, sir, episode 19. This kid 19. was from Arizona, too, though. That's definitely not him. Does he have a great beard? Also, that dude's... At the time, no. I was in fucking seventh grade. Well, he he didn't, that's not the same one, then. He had long hair. Hit him up. Does he play baseball? Does he have multiple million subscri- YouTube subscribers? I don't think he has that many. Really? Yeah, no, nah, he's got. I think under- Buff Nerds has a million. I think it has under a million. Want to bet? Because I don't. Whoever yeah. whoever loses has to end the podcast. Whoever loses, I had a good time. Right, a- I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> See ya.